Muy buenas noches a todos mis amigos. Aquí tu programa Hablando Entre Mujeres, Rosmarie Sánchez, a las 7 de la noche, como siempre, los días martes. Y qué entretenido programa vamos a tener el día de hoy. Hoy tengo muchas cosas que hablarles, decirles, agradecer, como siempre, a nuestros amigos de Altía Radio, quien transmite este programa desde Ohio, Miami, Perú, Colombia y Venezuela. Y por supuesto también agradecer a Universus Radios, quien también en su plataforma radial nos da la audiencia ya en México, en Morelia. Y por supuesto, a todo el mundo. Ahora, ¿qué te puedo decir? Que hay cosas entretenidas que tengo que hablar. Este fin de semana estuvimos en el iLead Conference to Meet. Um, tuve una experiencia maravillosa, tuve reconocimiento, estuve con personalidades, con escritores. Jane McNeils, quien es el fundador de este programa, y por supuesto con Shannon um, McKelly. Ella y él usaron este programa para beneficiar a muchas personas que pudieron entretenerse con la que es el liderazgo. Entonces, también hoy tenemos como invitaba a Mary Susan Little, who is in the studio tonight. And I'm just so blessed, so thankful. I'm going to be sharing the information between you and I and everyone who's watching today in both languages, like always, in Spanish and English. So you can be entertained, but also you can learn the experiences of these wonderful people who I'll have in the studio. As well, I'll have Ame Hawari, who is a best-seller international book author. He's been sharing stages with so many people like Les Brown, Bob Prater, Tony Robbins, you name it. So uh, you have to stay there. There's so much to talk. And he's a multimillionaire investment um, owner in real estate. So the, there's so much happening. But um, one of the experiences that you're going to be um, knowing of what's happening between these invited guests, which are wonderful, it's how the life is being transformed by leadership. And that's why they're here today. So, les tengo que decir que aparte de eso, el día de el Ailey Submit, que fue el día sábado y domingo, eh, tuvimos el honor, muchas mujeres, ser reconocidas por un, um, conocimiento, un reconocimiento que se llama Susan B. Anthony Leadership Award. Y si lo pueden ver aquí, si pueden acercar la cámara, por favor, Guillermo. Sí, bien. Excelente. Eh, este, este, este reconocimiento se da para las personas que han hecho cosas diferentes en la comunidad. Eh, voy a hablar un poquito quién es Susan B. Anthony, eh, quien es una mujer que fue activista en los años 1800 eh, contra lo que es los a las personas que estaban siendo presas, como mujeres que no podían hablar y no tenían voto ni veto en la comunidad, en la sociedad. Esa fue Susan Bean Anthony y yo estoy muy agradecida, muy honrada de haber obtenido este reconocimiento porque la labor que hacemos todos los días inspira a otras personas y esto es parte de mi vida. So, gracias a Jane McNeil, a Shannon y por supuesto a toda la colaboración de iLead uh, Summit um, International. So I have to uh, tell you that uh, with this recon uh, recognition in this award that's given um, to me um, on Saturday uh, with the conference of iLead Summit, um, this, this is something really, really special. It's meaningful because it does recognize women eventually, only women who had changed and empowered a community and the society because Susa B. Anthony, who's been named here, she was a person who only at 17 years old, she got the community of women asking to get slavery out of the scene for women to have rights of voting talking, and perhaps being someone in the community. So this is really important. I really appreciate it. I'm very thankful. All I can say is that with this recognition, this award, it's something that it's a responsibility. I will be doing my best, my very best, to you that you're my audience, 
and to everybody who comes along for me to share ideas, empower your life, and perhaps make a change in the society. So thank you for that. I'm really thankful. Uh, we're going to have here Mary Susan Little, who I'm very pleased and honored to share with you here in the studio. We're going to go back in uh, some news for you to watch, and we'll be back in only one minute. So away for us, please. La Comunidad Cristiana y del Monte de Santidad le invita a sus reuniones de crecimiento espiritual. Cada domingo a las 10.30 de la mañana en 49 Sandringham de Brampton, Ontario. También puedes acompañarnos los viernes a las 6.30 de la tarde para estudiar juntos la Palabra de Dios. Y si te encuentras en Toronto, estamos en el 88 Park Lawn en Etobicoke. Todos los miércoles a las 7 de la noche, juntos creceremos espiritualmente estudiando esa hermosa Palabra de Dios. Ven y compartamos juntos este tiempo de edificación espiritual. Te esperamos. Hi, my name is Vicky Chapari. I'm a realtor. I have the chance to meet families every day and help them. For me, it's really important to know my client and know the expectation and the need. And building a relationship, a friendship. Buying, selling, or even renting is one of the most important financial decisions and even emotional. So it's so important to know each other and to trust each other. And we start working together. To my client, I have a wonderful group of professionals that I work with as a lawyer, mortgage broker, home staging, painters, and I love to provide that information to my clients as well. And here we're back for you and us here with Mary Susan Little. How are you, my dear so friend? Good. So good. Thank you so much. I'm so thankful you're in the studio and you came far away <laughs> and with me and you said yes to come. Absolutely. Um, how do you feel? Very good. Very good. I'm grateful to be here too. I'm excited. I'm excited to share. I hope uh, we can inspire a lot of people here tonight and inspire a lot of people to make some positive changes in their life. And I believe in that. I truly believe because women these days, to start with, um, they're facing many challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, they consider themselves wonderful, perfectly, and beautiful, as we are. And I'm sure that you're looking at us and saying, oh, two beautiful women. Yes, we are. But uh, yeah, why not, right? Absolutely. <laughs> But we must say that there is so many challenges for women these days, um, starting with society. Mm -hmm. It's very demanding. Yes. Um, our community these days, it's giving us one authority, one view, mm -hmm. um, one, one think of that if you are not perfect from right. the outside, there's so much in you that's not perfect inside. Isn't it? True. I agree. And that's why when I said, uh, Mary, please come and join in the studio, I said she's admirable because not only she's a woman who has three kids. Three, yes. 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 <laughs> Actually, not, not kids anymore, I guess. 23, uh, 21, and 19. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. Well, I said kids because, yes. you know, we always will see them like little Absolutely. ones, right? Absolutely. So that's why I say it. But, um, and one of them is here. Yeah, it's my daughter. <laughs> so applause yeah. for her. Yeah. She, she comes everywhere with me. And, and I love And my that. partner in business too. So that's amazing as well. And we have to talk about that. Yes. We, we do. We, we do. <laughs> so uh, your background is Irish. Yes. Right? Yes, I You am. were born here in Canada. I was. And I was. Um, you have so much, um, you know, opportunities in life as a studies. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us about it? Um, you know, I guess being a first generation um, Canadian, um, definitely have all the documentation, though, to show uh, my dad coming here from Ireland, coming here with really nothing. Um, no. Was a blue collar worker, worked very hard to support his family. Um, my mom as well. We did not have a lot of money growing up. Um, actually grew up in Ontario housing um, in Toronto. Wow. So definitely was not a lot of money at the time. Um, I, I guess I could probably say quite honestly that you know you don't have a lot of money when 
milk is a big deal. We drank a lot of powdered milk. In <laughs> fact, I can't even taste powder, wow. powdered milk to this day. Wow. You cannot do anything to make powdered milk taste good. But um, because of that, my parents were very proud, though, that they were here in Canada um, and definitely tried to give us whatever they could. Um, but I, I certainly, I held down three jobs, put myself through college. Um, and you know what? I tell you something. When you have those meaning yes. and you suffer in life because you said, okay, there's other kids that they might have more than me, right? True. Um, it is it is something that you're not proud of. Hmm. But now when you realize how much you have, how much you built, how much you empower other women today, you said, I have to go through that challenge in order for me to be a better human being. Absolutely. In terms of everything, okay. everything. And I'm sure that people who are listening, it's not about... I did not have money. That's that's not the reason behind. Mm -hmm. You did not have the greatest opportunities True. to build maybe a foundation much more sooner than what you are now, mm -hmm. isn't it? True. True. So that's why we, we have to collaborate here with our audience, which is wonderful. We have many people here who's uh, sending messages, who's oh. congratulating. Um, I do have here Delvin Reed who said, congratulations, Rosemary. Thank you for that. Um, it says Emilia Roman, who's the uh, founder of the book, a Spiritual Fitness Survivor, which you know about it, yes, right? Yes, I do. Okay. I, do. I have this for you. Oh, thank you yes. so much. It's That's a gift. wonderful. <laughs> I appreciate that. I can't wait to read it. For sure. And uh, my chapter number is number 10. Okay. We did this collaboration <laughs> with 25 authors. Nice. I'm the 26. So we are 26 in, in total. But um, it was a wonderful opportunity because um, as you are in a big company working for a big corporation, which is doing wonderful and phenomenal mm -hmm. things for families, Very true. you know, um, which we're going to talk a little bit about it. This is something that I value as this, as an organization that now we're building communities, mm -hmm. empowering them with, uh, with leadership because the book itself right. does have meaningful stories about how from challenges we became stronger Very so good. that's why i'm so blessed to give it to you thank you so, so honor. much i appreciate that thank so you much. that's wonderful <laughs> and emilio says i will be in canada this weekend oh no way wow okay <laughs> and i know why i told you and I'm, okay. i'll give you the invitation it should be a very good idea if you come any woman who's listening perhaps any audience that's right now listening uh, there's going to be a conference on November 2nd and 3rd hmm. uh, with Dr. Bowen and Fasana Patel. They're both uh, big in leadership. They, they come from the United States hmm. and uh, they will be given to any person who comes along information uh, to, to empower themselves with leadership, nice. with authority and building your brand, which Everybody wants to do, right? Of course, these days. of course. So I have something to ask you because I I had an impactful time when I listened to you in a conference back in, I think about two years ago. Mm, okay. Uh, that was in Vaughn. I don't mm -hmm. know if you remember um, one of the insurance conferences we go to. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, you talk about your story, how much you lost in weight. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us about? <laughs> Please. Um, okay, well, I guess at that time I do remember speaking. Um, I've lost 130 pounds. Um, I went through a decision that I made to really start taking my health seriously. I went through a, um, a separation that was not, uh, not very pleasant. I don't know any separation that would be pleasant, but it also made me really decide that I needed to start making some major decisions. And one of them was to take my health seriously. Wow. So I started eating clean. I started exercising. Um, had never been in a gym before that. Wow. Um, and so it was It was definitely a process. Um, wow. It was not easy, but it uh, has been one of the most rewarding, rewarding things that I've done. I remember watching you there and you were speaking to about maybe 200 people and I said, I want to be like her. You know, inspire me so much. Thank you so much. Yes, I do. I do. I do with honest and the blessing that you're here. I have to say that because, oh, I appreciate that. you know, it's, it's, it's the change of a woman's body. Yes. And it's a change of a woman's soul too. Yes. Completely. Yes. I tell you. 
Um, I have not lost 130 pounds, but I've lost over 45 pounds. And I can tell you, I'm very happy about it. Yes. That's amazing. And I think you went in the process. Sometimes we, we chat and I said, I'm here at the gym and you said, go, go, go. Yes. Yeah. You know, you remember Absolutely. that? Exactly. Absolutely. And that's why, that's why this program called Hablando Entre Mujeres, Talking Between Women, it's honorable for that, you know? Of course. What changes are we making as a human being? Mm -hmm. You know, women that went through maybe the most hardships time mm -hmm. to fulfill needs that were not needed, yeah. you know, but now we're uh, heading and achieving, you know, opportunities of things unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. What can you say about that? Uh, well, one of the things I always say, and I, and I mean this sincerely, was that I, I lost 130 pounds, but I, I found myself, which was, for me, um, an incredible journey to go on. You're right, because it was about proving a lot of things to myself, right? It was about finding that inner discipline, that confidence again, that um, dedication and commitment because I've I've kept with it I've continued right obviously to to stay <laughs> in the gym it kind of transitioned me over now the last three years um, I'm vegan so wow. that is also a big uh, a big, big change. change huge wow. change wow <laughs> wow and you know what you're admirable because coming from the background of insurances mm -hmm. and investment, mm -hmm. which is really needed these days. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And being a leader as an RBP, which is regional vice president, whoever is here may not understand it. True. Uh, you know, um, and it went so quick. It went from zero to 18 months. Yes. Oh, yes. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> how a challenge? I mean, how did you manage to lose weight, to be somebody else as better, not, not someone that you're not, but a better human being. Mm -hmm. And also achieving so many wonderful, uh, different, you know, uh, upgrades in the balance of getting to where you want it to be. Mm -hmm. I think in that journey, and you're right, it is a process. I think as we start to change, and it's not just the physical change, although that's part of it, we start to become a different person. And when we become that different person, not only do we attract different people, yes. we attract a different energy. And <laughs> our own, at least in my humble opinion, our own expectation starts to grow with that as well. And I believe as our confidence grows, then everything around us starts to grow. Confidence, yes. very important, yes, very important. True. <laughs> very true, very, very true. true, it's everything. It's everything, it's, mm -hmm. it's the completion of a human being, True. confidence. Yes. So I have to translate all this in Spanish yes, just to honor the people who's here. True. So mis amigos adorados y de ellos que son allá ustedes que están escuchando, eh, Mary Susan Little, uh, que es una persona de admirar totalmente, habla como pertenecer a un nuevo cuerpo, como el cambio y la transformación que ella tuvo de pasar de un peso que no era eh, por supuesto, eh, saludable y transformarlo a 130 libras menos. Transformó su vida como un ser humano, como en toda la parte de lo que es ella, en esencia, en liderazgo, pudo alcanzar nuevos objetivos. Habla de que en su tiempo de niñez ella sufrió no haber estado en, 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 en una casa donde hubiera tantas posibilidades, inclusive vivió en casas que son... Eh, financiadas por el gobierno. Entonces con esto eh, pudo haber sufrido en el sentido que no fue el, el tipo de niño ideal donde todo el mundo dice, ay, ella tiene todo, le es fácil en la vida. No lo fue. Más sin embargo, sus padres con tanto orgullo sirvieron de ejemplo para ella continuar, crecer y ser un ser humano admirable. Entonces, ¿qué les quiero decir yo a ustedes? Necesitamos siempre ver que las partes en las que nosotros caemos en los momentos que pensamos que no somos nadie o que realmente eh, somos pequeños ante la sociedad. Esos momentos son los que te han hecho transformarte a lo que ya es hoy. Una mujer maravillosa, con bajo peso, una mujer que inc inclusive encontró en 18 meses avanzar de cero a ser eh, una presidenta regional en lo que es la compañía que ella trabaja eh, de seguros e inversiones. Y hoy en día está aquí para dar el ejemplo de vida con ustedes. 
So, vamos a continuar en inglés para que las otras personas que están escuchando, por supuesto, no pierdan de vista lo que estamos hablando. I shall say, I don't know if I, if I said this in English, mm -hmm. but uh, we do have audience from other uh, countries mm -hmm. that are listening in the platform of radio. Nice. Like, yes, it is, it is wonderful because this is the collaboration of media, you know? Yeah, so, it's really important. So, we have um, members from um, United States, Ohio, Miami, that's with Aldia Radio. Uh, we have them in Mexico with the Universities Radio and also Aldia Radio. And we have Peru, Colombia, and Venezuela with Aldia Radio. So what can I tell you? That's, that's <laughs> it is. You're I broadcasting everywhere these I days. I love it. I love it. I'm international. It is. it is. It is. It is. <laughs> and why not praising that, right? Like, Absolutely. I mean, and perhaps uh, Tu En Línea TV, who's the, the main producer, Um, you know, it's blessed because we are united. That's that's number one. So I wanted to displace this for people who's watching, listening. Please be a voice. Share, love it, and please comment. We want comments. Yes. We want to know what they're thinking about. Absolutely. So we have other comments here. It says, Saki El Haja, go, go, coach. <laughs> <laughs> I guess yes. isn't your base shop? Yes, she is. <laughs> she is. Yeah. Ah, she yes. is. I'm so sorry. That's okay. Okay, and we have Praveen Patel who says, hello, Rosemary Sanchez. You are the celebrity. Love you. Thank I you. Know. We. I was with Praveen Patel this weekend in the conference. I lead to is Leaders to Meet, which mm. I was recognized yes, with the Susan B. Anthony. Thank you. Thank I you. love that. <laughs> and, um, it, well, he was a man, but he was there, mm. even though it was for women. You see, because these days, that's why this program is called Hablando Entre Mujeres, Talking Between Women. The biggest audience are male. <laughs> the one that you know. <laughs> They want to know what would a woman think of. Oh, that's not a bad thing. It is not bad, right? <laughs> so I'm glad that you're here. Um, what can you say to people today that, yes, you're beautiful, indeed, and you have accomplished so many things. What can you tell them about a message that not only beauty will be what enchanted, what will be out there mm -hmm. to show in the world, But what else is needed other than confidence? Because we talk about it. True. <laughs> um, I think other than confidence, I think you have to have the compassion and you have to have the, the leadership. You have to have a vision. Yes. You vision. have to be able to, right? Yes. You have to be able to communicate that vision to others. And I think, especially with what we do, but with what everybody does, you have to want to make an impact in other people's lives. It is. Right? It is. And that's so fulfilling, you know? Yes. So people say sometimes, oh, I want to help others. But when they meant to help others, have you helped yourself first? True. So true. You know? So important. It's like the boat is shrinking. Mm -hmm. What are you doing for your boat? Yeah. Should we do first something for us in order for us to help and drag the people down to us? Yes, definitely. Yes. And that's what you have done today so far with the years of experience mm -hmm. in your field. Um, perhaps with uh, the new you, reju <laughs> rejuvenated you, yeah, you know, very true. and um, that's why I, I want to uh, get this attention to the people who's watching today and will be watching later. Always think about there's a better way. True. What can be a better way for you today? Moving forward? Mm -hmm. Well, I think the exciting thing for myself too, bringing that new energy Um, into everything and now also partnering up with my daughter in business. Come on, come on, come, <laughs> come, come, come. this is wonderful. I never expected it and we shall be proud of that Absolutely. show and the Absolutely. camera. She's supporting you and that she eventually, <laughs> come over here, baby. she's so beautiful. Come over here, baby. Do we have the view here? Yes. Yes. And a picture. Yes. 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 So wonderful. And uh, you see, Hold on, hold on, darling. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> this is this is my baby. So this is my my 19 year old. Wow, yeah. 19 year old, and she's doing business with you. She is actually. As soon as she turned 18, um, yes. she put her application in, and now she has become licensed. Wow. We and so moving forward, we have a five year game plan. Wow. That we're going to build everything up to a point where basically I'm going to start. Somewhat, and I say somewhat, <laughs> passing the baton because I'll still be involved. But now to start building the business through the eyes 
of someone that's got the vision of the youth. Yes. So you're building a legacy. Yes. Already. 100%. Can you tell us the name of the company? I, I, I didn't want to say it because oh, okay. I want you yes. to please share yep. it with the world Absolutely. here. <laughs> Absolutely. So it is Primerica Financial Services. I am a regional vice president. I am a member of Women in Primerica, and I am incredibly proud of what we do. Um, I love it. I can't imagine myself doing anything else. And the fact that I've been able to build it uh, around <laughs> my three kids and now have my oldest son is also wow. uh, licensed wow. with me part, not part time. But definitely to have my daughter as a partner um, means everything. Wow. Means everything. Wow. You see, this is this is beautiful because when you talk about it, I, I we are colleagues. Yes. You would do yes, the same are. thing. And yes, I are. know for fact. And I believe that people who really focus in building future needs mm -hmm. in legacy, this is where they should be long. Absolutely. I agree. 100%. So I'm so blessed. So thank you. You're here. We have to come up with song interviews right now that we still are waiting ahead. And please uh, wait for us. We have Ami Avari and we have Shan say goodbye today. Goodbye. But it won't be the last time. No, sure absolutely. About thank you. Love thank you. Here. Love you. <laughs> Just wait, please. An invasive tool to see how your body's functioning on the inside before signs and symptoms show up. To receive $50 off the scan, simply mention Rosemary Sanchez and the program El Blando and Tere Mojeres, Talking Between Women, and this way you will receive $50 off. ¿Te gustaría conocer las cataratas del Niágara? ¿Qué ha habido? Mi nombre es Pepe García, co-director de Vago por Toronto. Y nosotros ofrecemos el tour a las cataratas del Niágara y a la región vinícola de Niagara Lake desde la ciudad de Toronto. Si quieres más información de todos nuestros servicios, contáctanos a través de nuestras redes sociales. Estamos en Instagram, estamos en Facebook. Ahí te vamos a atender y te vamos a brindar toda la información que necesitas. Chao, chao. Mi nombre es Mariana Santos y soy consultora de migración y refugio aquí en Canadá. Mi compañía se llama Santos y Associates Immigration Inc. Hacemos toda clase de documentación sobre inmigración. Llevamos a cabo refugios, razones humanitarias, visas de estudio, de trabajo, de turismo. Acérquese, consúltenos a nuestra oficina. Estamos siempre dispuestos para usted. Los espero aquí en Santos y Asociados en la esquina de Kiel y Wilson con una sonrisa para usted y para su familia. Muchas gracias. Obleas and Waffles to Go, más que un negocio, es una familia dispuesta a darle lo mejor a nuestros clientes. Productos como obleas, waffles, crujetas, crepes, ice cream y más sabores únicos que deleitarán tu paladar. Los esperamos viernes, sábado, domingo en International Sports Bar 2480 Coucher Road desde el próximo 27 de septiembre y comparte con nosotros los sabores de Colombia. No olvides, obleas and waffles to go. So yummy. Y estamos de vuelta aquí contigo, mis amigos lindos. Eh, ¿Qué entrevista tuvimos con Mary Lynn Little? Bueno, su apellido es Ben Little, pero yo le digo Little porque es muy linda. <ríe> so, eh, eso, eso es lo bonito, lo bonito de lo que es la parte de la colaboración a nivel de interpersonal con mujeres maravillosas. Eh, estoy muy agradecida por todos los que están escuchando, por los que son parte de este programa Hablando Entre Mujeres con Dos en Línea TV, eh, por supuesto con la transmisión internacional y que ustedes, cada día que estamos creando este programa, el significado de que nos sigas es la oportunidad que nos da a nosotros avanzar, trayendo personas que realmente están haciendo impacto en la sociedad, que traen nuevas ideas y expectaciones para que tú te empoderes. ¿Por qué? La necesidad es, es continua. 
Todos los días de nuestra vida necesitamos crecer y, por supuesto, conocer más de nosotros. Dar lo mejor y sincerarnos. Decir, ¿sabes qué? No todo lo puedo saber. Pero escuchando personas que han pasado en el proceso de lo cual tú quieres llegar, por supuesto, tu vida va a cambiar. Entonces, esa es la razón del por qué tú estás aquí. Te doy las gracias. Tengo algo muy bonito que quiero leerles que dice, contribuir a hacer lo que los sueños de otros se hagan realidad es una de las fuerzas más potentes que me impulsan. Wow. Porque cuando ayudo a alguien a alcanzar el éxito, también lo alcanzo yo. Michael Isa. Wow. Esto que acabo de leer es precisamente lo que estamos hablando, de que el por qué las personas deben, ¿verdad?, siempre colaborar juntas, tener sueños y empoderarse para encaminarse a un mejor futuro. So, um, I shall say here that um, we are waiting for Ame Awari. I'm sure he's somewhere near. Um, he just uh, opened the door and left. I just don't know why. Um, but Ahmed, if you're listening, if you're watching, please let him know anybody who can call him and say, I'm coming, you know, tell him I'm a winning here. <laughs> so, um, you know, things happen like that. That's, that's normal. Uh, maybe he was, you know, thinking, oh, it's not my turn. Yes, it's your turn. So come by, please, and join us. So uh, just to start with, who's Ame Awari? He's an international speaker. Um, he has shared stages with Les Brown, Bob Proctor, um, with um, Raymond Aaron, uh, with Jack and Field. So we're talking big authors, big legend in the speaking world. Now, um, his business is being a guru in real estate. Now, you know about the word of guru? <laughs> you know, when you think of a guru, <laughs> you think, okay, a person who's genius. Yes, who's uh, getting from darkness to light. That's what really the meaning of guru is. So um, I shall say that I'm very proud. I was with him at the I Lead Leaders to Meet. We had an opportunity to interact. And when I listened to his story, it was really, really impactful. And the reason why is because behind the scenes, there's many things that are happening. In front of camera, everybody's beautiful. But not every day is like that. We have to go through patterns. I shall say poverty because poverty is not about being in the outside world poor. Poverty is being inside you, in your mind, a person who you do not belong to. That's poverty. So that's why your mindset has to change, has to shift, has to be always honoring who you are. And that's when you become truthful to yourself. So I do know he has uh, created and um, have two books he, he wrote uh, in collaboration, okay? The book that he uh, had done in collaboration with on, uh, other authors is Matnik. Uh, sorry, it's the Magnetic Entrepreneur Book of the Year Man Award and the creator of the Real Estate 1% Rule Award. And here he is. We are waiting for you, Ahmed. You <laughs> yes, and he's just coming up and sitting down here. Uh, one thing that I shall say about him, um, he's from Kuwait. He's lived in the United States for many years. He has built an empire about uh, real estate, and he's going to talk all about it. So... Um, I'm waiting for him to come and come in. You're welcome. We are wow. waiting for you, Ahmed. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> How are you? Oh, how are you doing, my dear friend? Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm very glad. Thank Just come in. I was telling to the audience, please call Ahmed and let him know we're waiting for him. <laughs> well, Ahmed is here. <laughs> very good, very good. Thank you. And Ahmed, I just, I just, um, I'm very honored, very pleased. Down on his own mind. Yes, thank you. When I met you uh, this weekend at um, the I Lead um, Leaders Summit, mm -hmm. and I listened to your story when you talked in front of maybe a hundred people there, I said, what a wonderful experience. You know, living in a world where you thought you did not belong, but now you belong so much more than anything. True. You know, isn't it what leadership is about? That's absolutely true. Leaders rise no matter where they are. Yes. Leaders come across 
as someone with confidence, assertiveness, and able to help others as well as themselves. Wow, I love that. And I had a conversation with uh, Mary Susan Lito, who's here. Yes, I was listening to her before <laughs> yes, I forgot something. Yes, and we talked about that. It's, it's, it's the relation there. Because we come from many different backgrounds, but at the end, there's always one vision. True. Who are, as a matter of fact, you know, in front of cameras, in front of stages, and inside us. The person I view myself to be is the same person, whether in front of a camera, in front of an audience, if with you alone. Yes. Or just in the kitchen table somewhere. I agree. Um, being of a humbling background, I'm originally Palestinian. Yes. Oh, I'm That's sorry. What, no, I no, said no, Kuwait. No. I was born my and apology. raised. No, no, no. You don't mind me putting my hand on no, the chair? No, no, Great. no, please. So I was born and raised in Kuwait. Ah, okay. That's what I thought. And mm -hmm. being a Kuwaiti, being a Palestinian raised in Kuwait, okay. who is not a citizen of Kuwait, tends to have its baggages, if you will. Meaning, if you're not a citizen of Kuwait particularly, so you don't have a lot of privileges, you cannot own cars, you cannot own houses. So that's always been in the back of my mind. Then, of course, I come from a big family. My dad has lived in Kuwait for 40 years. Wow. Just as long as I've been in the United States, actually. Wow. I want to say here, but here is not the United States. <laughs> but it's becoming your family <laughs> now, because I see you many times here. <laughs> Actually, I'm in Toronto on average about 13, 14 times a year. Wow. So, yes. You so, are business <laughs> is running well here, my As friend. a matter of fact, my <laughs> wife thinks I should just get a place here and call it a day and just come visit home once in a while. Well, I'm sure you have many <laughs> friends already built. <laughs> I do. I do. But when you're in Kuwait and you cannot own anything, you even to get a... A car, you have to have a co-signer who is a Kuwaiti citizen. Wow. It, it kind of created the drive for me to always achieve and, and strive to achieve. And little did I know, coming to the United States 40 years ago, as a matter of fact, 1979, that the first thing I'll say in one of my the properties I rented, and I won't go through the full story, sure. but is, well, I'll make it clean. I saw a shadow at night. <laughs> <laughs> you said something like you rented it for five years. No, actually, this one, I'll come to that. Uh, okay, because I remember that was the, the room. story. All right. <laughs> that was the room I rented. Okay. And I had a lot of lights because I was in the middle of the city by the main street. And, and I swear I saw a thing run across the room as a shadow and the lights coming in. I wasn't sure. And the first thing came out of my mouth. Is that do I want to get up out of bed or do I not? Do I want to get up out of bed or not? I got out of bed and it was like, ah, it's a rat. Wow. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I remember the rat. And I was like horrifying <laughs> experience. First time in this place. And the thing that came out of my mouth is my tenants will never have this, essentially. When I have my properties, my tenants will never have this kind of experience. But that was Because you suffered. Because that was 1980. I didn't even own a property. But you were thinking ahead. I think it's more of, I had the drive. Yes. I had the ambition. I don't know how to get there. I knew I was gonna be in real estate, but I don't know how, but the fact that it came out is as of something within me telling me, wow. you got it. And the thing is, the commercial I saw says aim high. Ah. By the Air Force, if you know the price yes. is right, come on yes, down. Yes. <laughs> well, wow. the price is right. I love the price. I learned most of my language watching the prices right how to <laughs> conversate with people but fast forward 10 years later when i owned my first house which is wow. the one i rented for five years ah that's the one yes okay got yes. it <laughs> and i tell people this i didn't realize i was going to be buying the house nor did i th think at all i will be buying a house at that time that's the last thing a uh, uh, renter i mean a person who rents will think, okay, I'm going to buy the house. Correct. You know? And they say, even though I don't like says, but the uh, necessity is the mother of all inventions, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I come from a big family. Just for those of you who want to know, I have four brothers and sisters beside myself. Oh, wow. Yeah. And That's big. <clears throat> Especially today. Sure. <laughs> 
Especially if you have to carry everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and You're I like was, the little bag. Okay, come in, come in. And I was bringing my brother through college. Wow. I was supporting him to become an electrical engineer. And I am a, I am a geologist geophysicist. I have a degree wow. in geology and I have a bachelor's degree in geophysics. I know. I looked at the, the background <laughs> and everything you said. I said, man, how am I going to say all this? I'm sure he will say it. I'll so cover some of it. <laughs> Already. And I have a master's degree postgraduate work because I decided not to finish the thesis <laughs> in okay. engineering geology. And I worked professionally. I had a full-time job. There's nothing with the job, I tell people, if you love what you do. And I you did. You got it. Uh, you did. I loved what I did. Wow. I, I have 35 years in environmental work and groundwater hydrology and cleaning up groundwater and cleaning up the earth. That was amazing and I loved it. I have an environmental company too. Wow. Do you know why I said wow? <laughs> yes. Because. Tell me. As an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. when you said you loved your job, I'm like impressed. Yes. You know, because an entrepreneur always wants to be having the freedom. We don't want they to do. be tied. They do, you know and I, mean? I do. So I, they, I struggled. How did you shift it? <laughs> I did not. I did both. Oh, goodness. Well, that's that's really challenging. But I I'm did sure. above and beyond that. I used wow. to be a teacher at college. Oh, goodness. I was also a professor on top of that <laughs> wow. for five years. But I remember you said something very important. Even <laughs> though you had all those things happening, mm -hmm. there was a time where you got the depression oh, and oh, you oh. almost lost your life. Can you tell us about it? Yes, I can. I don't know if that's it a is story a I want to story, show you, but, but uh, it's important. I think it's important for people to realize sure. out of the failures, it's still, you got the strength to come up and rest. Yes. In 2011, yeah, I had such a rough pocket of time where I fell in depression deeply. Wow. I slept 18 hour days. It was the worst of me. The nastiest of me actually was coming out. I don't want to deal with my wife, who is the most amazing being. As a matter of fact, I'm so grateful that she's still with me to this day, 28 years this coming December 21st. And, and I, I even tell her, I was like, you know, if I was her, I would have left me. I was so nasty. <laughs> yeah, but you know I you're was, real. You're I was. real. I was so nasty. Wow. I slept 18 hour days. Wow. I didn't want to deal with a wife, a kid, a friend, a business. Wow. No one. And she could see I'm hemorrhaging money. And I don't mean just like losing money. No, yeah. I'm hemorrhaging. Like if somebody wow. is bleeding profusely. And, and I said, don't care. Leave me alone. And you know what? This is interesting. Because usually when people get depressed, it's because of financial dread down. No. But that wasn't your case. No, it was not. <laughs> wow. So you Money see. Money was not the problem. For but you see, what depression. I'm telling you is like, hello, buddy, mm -hmm. everybody who's listening. It's not about money. It's about the human being inside getting depressed. Yes. Yes. And no matter what, you got money, you don't have money. You're still in the loose of a fallacy. Depression is the nastiest disease, I think, in my own opinion, based on going through it. You are correct. Depression doesn't recognize you as a rich person, poor person, middle income, middle class, upper middle class, lower middle it's class. Not. It doesn't care. When it's a mental issue. It, when you get into a mental health, mental issues where you fall trapped to the circumstances where you are the signs where you find the gloominess in everything. We don't see the sunshine, where you don't see the light, when you don't. I slept 18 hour wow. days. <laughs> I mean, wow. it's not, I mean, I love to sleep. But, but not, not that 18, not, not every good. day for a year. You were a baby in a year time. I just didn't care. You were draped down. Um, I didn't want to leave my place of, I didn't want to leave my room. Wow. And it was a struggle to, to my friends were coming to help my wife. I saw a shrink. Wow. I, it's nothing wrong with seeing one, but yet I still was down. But you know what? I mean, uh, can I take this? Yes. No? Yes. Thank you. So this is the book you wrote with Raymond Aaron. Yes. And I shall say, this is a very proud moment for you. 
And as a matter of fact, it is. And the reason I wrote it is my wife. Wow. Two years after I started real estate. Tell us about it, because I think this Two is years really after important. I started real estate, I discovered that the 1% is a real thing. Hmm. And so I started lining up things, and but I can figure out how people get loans. How do the people get house after house after house, or property after property? Wow. And how do they get to the bank? And the bank says, sure, no problem. You can have it. <laughs> Love it. Oh, piece Keep of cake. Going. Keep, Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> so one thing led to another. My wife goes, I think you should write a book about the 1% rule. Wow. And I said, I'm really not interested. <laughs> I'm not in the mood. So 20 plus years later, wow. I sign up with Raymond. I said, honey, guess what? <laughs> I decide to take your advice. And she goes, What? I said, you've been bugging me to write a book for 20 plus years. <laughs> now is my time. And now I'm <laughs> writing a book. And you tell me what? That's all you got? Oh, she goes, goodness. you know what? I think it'll do great. But once I figured out the numbers, no bank can re can turn me down for a loan ever. For sure not. No one can be bad credit. I could help them through it. Wow. I have developed myself over the years to be a business strategist done Stephen Covey's. I learned the financial system, mortgage companies, loan companies, wow. everything about it to the point I can go to any institution and say, I would like a mortgage for this property. And they say, yes, sir. And when do you want us to start? Yeah, because that's, that's okay. Let me, <laughs> this is too much, but I love it. I love it. Okay. But more in Espanol. Tengo que hablar en Espanol. Please, please do. Okay. I know so, I can't speak it. So. <laughs> I know, but I, I'm sure you listened it very I, well. I do get a few words in here and there, and I, that's one of the languages I intend on learning. Very good. I love that idea. So, les tenemos que dejar saber quién es Ame Awari. Y todo lo que hemos estado hablando con él. Es increíble esta historia de este señor, de este autor, de esta persona que ha pasado de depresión, durmiendo 18 horas, con mucho dinero pero pocos sueños para seguir viviendo. Él está aquí dando su historia, que después de hacer tantas cosas en su vida, como ser un profesor, como ser eh, un empleado en una, big, uh, en una grande compañía a nivel de todo lo que es eh, la ingeniería de, de electrónica y de, bueno, cosas maravillosas que de verdad, ahorita no pudiera describirlo todo en español, pero él trabajó, trabajó, amó su trabajo, pero también quería ser dueño de su propio tiempo. Y lo hacía los dos combinadamente. El dinero nunca fue un problema, pero sí la depresión. De depresión pasa a crear, ¿verdad? Eh, un libro. Un libro que se llama El, eh, el, por, el 1% de la regla en bienes y raíces. Y esto se lo debe a su esposa, quien lo inspiró siempre a decir, tienes que hacer el libro y contarle la historia a la gente. ¿Cómo tú puedes encontrar préstamos? ¿Cómo puedes tener eh, 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 bancos que lo único que dicen, sí, venga, yo le doy el préstamo? Eso es lo que es la magia de crear exponencialmente. Por eso él está aquí con nosotros. Eh, por eso siento que es importante que las personas que están escuchando no tan solo vean que el dinero puede ser la causa de la depresión, sino que el dinero, con dinero, él todavía se encontró fuera de sí mismo. Y eh, por, por cierto, todo esto lo enfrentó, lo pudo seguir enfrentando, se liberó y hoy en día es multimillonario en todo lo que es bienes y raíces. Continuamos escuchando esta historia que de verdad me impacta. Eh, tenemos bastantes eh, personas que están aquí. En, eh, I, we have so many comments here. Wow. Yeah, so we have people watching. Thank you. Yeah, we have Emilia Roman. Emilia Roman says, Ame Hawari is an amazing human being. We spoke recently. Wow. Thank you, Emilio. <laughs> I'm grateful. He's sure. an amazing man himself. For sure. And... Uh, He and I, we spoke about actually becoming one of the speakers on my stage for an event coming wow. up in December. It's called the Millionaire Mindset Movement. Uh, yeah, you, you mentioned yes. you're going to say and do it here, no? I will be doing it here. Amazing. It will be, I'll be here. Stay tuned. All right. It, de it depends on how much of a reception I'm going to get. We're going to put feelers out. But I think it's one of its kind in Ohio. Yes. It's only five hours away. 
Yes. And Raymond Aaron is going to be us. As a matter of fact, he's one of my speakers. We have Curtis Brown. Wow. Uh, Curtis Banks, excuse me. We also have Serena uh, Les wow. Brown's daughter speaking. I love her. And, uh, She's amazing. She is an amazing woman. And as a matter of fact, we have a Heather person, who Heather Eberly, who was doing one trip around the world. Wow. Uh, where to, Unstoppable to Crazy? And Sabal Tracy was still working on it. I didn't want to say that yeah. out loud, but now. <laughs> and she was Tracy, interviewed, eh? She oh. was interviewed by Two and Nina TV. Yes, and yeah. she gave me a heck of an endorsement for my wow. the Upside of Down Syndrome book and my charity that I created because of my son who is Down Syndrome. Wow. And especially when I was paralyzed, and he was my inspiration wow. to walk. And the most important thing is she endorsed my real estate book. Wow. And the best part is Jack Canfield is writing the forward on the upside of the Oh my city. friend, I have I to know. give you a hug for that, right? I'm making an wow. announcement on it officially. He asked me for the manuscript as well and he loved it. Writing a forward forward is like, wow. It's a postulate that I thought he would do it on the real estate book, but next thing I know, that's a better option for the me. The postulate. Yes. Wow, 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 wow. It and I shall, so, say, I shall Emilio, say. I love you, brother. Yes. I thank you. And you know, Emilio wrote, um, I mean, He's an author and he's yes, the author yes, of yes. our book, Spiritual Fitness Survivor, yes, yes. which um, I went and got the book lunch there with all co-authors. It was an amazing, yes. incredible time. And yes. I have all the... Wow, look at that. Isn't it? That's awesome and amazing. It is. And when he and I were at Magnetic Entrepreneur uh, Award Ceremony and being... The thing that was exciting about that is... I saw Emilio, I saw his wife, I saw Robert, but I was awarded Book of the Year, Man of the Year Award. Wow. And I was like, huh? Isn't you being as well awarded for the global one? I'm not sure because I like, I mean, I was in a shock. I don't, I just heard my <laughs> name and I was the last one. So I don't know what, what exactly was the award, except I know it's Book Man of the Year Award. I'm like, okay, is that the category? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> because I was nominated and I was one, but I had no idea how and how. Amit, um, yes. our, our time is very short, and I'm sure okay. this won't be the last time ever here. I'll make it quick then. Yeah, but let us know how to find you. That's exactly yeah, I'm that's make really quick. important. So, www.myfirstname, which is a h m e d 360.com, ahmed360.com. It's a social hub connection. You could call me, text me, email me from there. You can get my contact. Side. You can make an appointment with me. You could go to my Down Syndrome charity, The Upside of wow. Down Syndrome. It has really the most fascinating names, in my opinion. And I'm being just biased. <laughs> and the Real Estate 1% per Rule also has a website there. But more importantly about it, it's the quickest method you'll ever learn on how to obtain real estate and make 10% profit every time. Wow. No questions asked. You don't even have to know math very well. This is a master here. <laughs> uh, I shall say I have to uh, just end you. Um, I'm really blessed and thankful for um, being here with me. And I am so grateful as yes. well. And I'm honored to be here. And thank you for asking me. Thank you. Uh, nosotros tenemos que dejarlos. Estamos muy agradecidos por todo lo que han hecho por nosotros. Estar aquí, por supuesto, los días martes a las 7 de la noche. Hablando entre mujeres, Rosmarie Sánchez, le desea lo mejor del mundo. Blessings to all of you. And gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. Well done. <laughs> well